Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris here. I hope all is well. Uh, in this video, we're going to look at the restriction on a variable uh, in a denominator, linear form. So it says to find all excluded values for the expression. Anything that we would plug in for t that would make this expression undefined. That is, find all the values of t which the expression is undefined. Excuse me, if there's more than one value, separate them with commas. So all you have to do here to find the undefined values is to look at your denominator, whatever expression is down there, pull it out to the side, set it equal to zero, and solve. And that's how you find your excluded values. All right, so we have t plus three equals zero. Subtract three from each side. So the, here the excluded value is negative three. The excluded value is negative three. So again, to find your excluded value, look at your denominator, take the expression from your denominator, set it equal to zero and solve. And this will be used more later on in this chapter. All right, so here we have the same thing. We want to find the excluded value or values for the expression. And we have a three over t minus two y. To find our excluded values, we are only focused on our denominator whatever will make our denominator equal zero will be an excluded value because anything divided by zero is undefined all right so let's take that 10 minus 2y set it equal to zero and solve for y so we'll subtract 10 from each side so we have negative 2y equals negative 10 and then divide both sides by negative 2 So my excluded value for this, this expression is five, which means if I replace y with five, I would have 10 minus two times five or 10 minus 10 in my denominator, which would be zero. And anything divided by zero is undefined. So that's why five is an excluded value from this expression. All righty, good people. Hope you found this video to be helpful and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.